Well, hello, everyone. Yes, I am back. I know this sounds crazy because I just posted a video a couple of hours ago. But folks, I want to echo what I just heard from someone on YouTube, which is I've told you about him. His name is Hurricane Lopez. He's breaking a new SoFi target by an analyst uh, who's come out on uh, Seeking Alpha and written up a great article about it. And so I thought, what the heck? I'm going to come on here and I'm going to reiterate and show you just a couple more quick things. This will be about a five-minute segment video just to tap on a couple things. And we're going to move this display capture right up under me so that I don't make a mistake like I've done before and not have the display capture where you can see it. And so here we go. Right now, we're going to progress and proceed. And hopefully, you will be able to see exactly what it is that I want to show you now. So jump on over here. We're going to come to this page. And here we go. We got, we're on uh, the SoFi page. You can see that it closed at 970. And I want to show you something else, people, because I like doing this. I filled five orders, 20 shares a piece at 970 right there. You can see that I did that. Oh, but it's not even there. There they are. I'm going to do it right. And there you are. At the end of the day, 970, 100 shares, because that's the kind of thing a bottom catfish feeder does. I saw that massive close today. I saw all that massive volume come in. And I showed you on the chart, look at all this volume. And this is, this is the, the longer term, but six month, which is beautiful enough. But look at the one day and then come here to the end of the day today and look at the difference. Look at versus I showed you in the last video. And this is just for some people who are new and watching this video might find it a different way. Because look at this last few moments. Look at all these green candlesticks that came in today at the close versus the big red ones yesterday running the price down. So I just wanted you, you to be very aware. This is a, a totally different ending here to today. And why I decided to buy those shares there just there at 759 to eight o'clock tonight right all the way right up to the end of the close there because my presumption is tomorrow we're going to see a big old spike now what i didn't do on the last video that i wanted to do i looked it over and i'm going to show you this too look at these last from back here on july the 6th look at these highs one day up two days up three days up four days up, five days up, a small amount down. So five out of six, six out of seven, seven out of eight, eight out of nine, nine out of 10 days up since the downgrade. And this is what I called. And do you remember after the day, after the downgrade and the price fell to that 877 right here, here on this day right here that I'm highlighting for you, you remember this day, on that day, when I said that this downgrade is always be careful because we always go up, 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 up. And, and I even went back. I said, could we see the same thing happen since the 15th downgrade? Look at all the ups, up one day, two days, three days, one, one penny down, three out of four, four out of five, five out of six, one more down, five out of seven, five, six out of eight, seven out of nine, eight out of 10, nine out of 11 here at 702, 10 out of 12, a tiny bit back, 10 out of 13, 11 out of 14, 12 out of 15, 13 out of six. Are you seeing this going up and up and up? It just kept going up, folks. And I've seen the same thing now. It looks identical. So I, this is why I'm showing you this. And I loved all this volume at the end of the day. But go over and check out Hurricane Lopez and him telling you about this gentleman right here. And here he is, James Ford. You can look him up now at SeekingAlpha.com. James Ford, uh, F-O-O-R-D. He talks about right here, his valuation implies a fair value of $20, people. And this is exactly what I was telling you. People say I'm crazy. But look, man, he's got all things, all kinds of things down here and reasons why below. Shows how they make their profit. Loan products, investment products, credit de debit cards, insurance products, deposits. Folks, I'm telling you, get over here. Check this out. Get over here and check it out. Make sure you look at all the information he provides because this, is, this isn't some uh, two-time analyst right here. This guy right here has got an excellent, excellent record. His success rate is awesome. Uh, you'd make profit at something like 66% of the time off this guy. So here's somebody who knows what he's talking about, not some moron who's a paid shill. This guy actually knows and he breaks it all down. He shows what their revenues are going to be. He shows it and he reiterates and reiterates again, and this guy isn't using fake. You can look right at everything that he's showing. You can show here, he shows versus the community banks and the credit unions and what's happening with the digital fintech business here, all right? So get on over there, watch the whole video for him. You're gonna love what you see there, all right? I'm just here to briefly show you a little bit about it. And you can see continuing on BKSY, I told you about this early in the day. My friend Carl mentioned it. It's still escalating, looking very good. And folks, 
this 970 the after hours was a great buying opportunity i hope you bought some because you're going to be making money and look here we're seeing the same thing with the dow futures we saw yesterday's futures last night i watched them right before i went to bed they were horrendous just like they are now early especially and then by like 11 or 12 they were starting to flatten out and then this morning what did we see so a good, another good day. Uh, forget about this daggum futures stuff. I like to show people this. Go up to the Dow futures. And when you do, look over here at how much volume there is on it. 3,763 here that Yahoo's showing. <laughs> All right. So I point this out because, you know, you, you people sometimes might look at these futures and go, golly, why are they so collapsing so well I, I just showed you didn't i so there's no fears no worries everybody have a great one that's all i wanted to show you with those two little things about the historical data and i uh, thank you very much for taking the time to take a brief look at this and uh, please give it a thumbs up make sure it gets shared with your friends because this again i think is very interesting information and fun stuff to know about this and so uh, do look at this rating from this guy because I think you can break it down. You can, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see a rocket, right? So that's it. I'm going to pull this down. I've done it. I've done it. I'm done. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say once again to you that I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I hope you have a prosperous day again tomorrow with SoFi. I think if you own it, you should. And if you are going to be in good health, that's the best thing of all. And like I said, you need to be surrounded with love, and I hope you have that. Thank you again for tuning in. And I'm done now. That was really quick. Well, that's my shortest video ever. I think it might have a record. Yeehaw! Bye-bye now, everybody.